Hi Leo, getting ready to do your reading. The first thing I got when I was getting ready here was that you have a lot of eyes on you, meaning people, people you don't realize are watching you. So this could be where you live, like in your neighborhood, your neighbors, this could be obviously at your job, if you work or if you don't work, this could be uh, wherever you go, like the gym or, you know, the park, if you go there daily walking your dog. Um, I just kind of got, there's something that has changed about you. So I don't know if you've been working on yourself, your parents, you've been um, putting effort into something, whatever it is, people are looking at you in a good way. Okay, so I mean, take that as it resonates. But uh, yeah, I just kind of, I kept seeing people as I was getting ready and meditating, just like glancing at you, looking at you, watching you, smiling. Um, it's nothing creepy. Nothing, nothing about it is like weird or creepy. It's just like, it's like when you, uh, maybe some of you haven't been coming outside as much and all of a sudden you're out more or uh, again, maybe you've been uh, working on yourself, but all right, Leo. Yeah, the community. It's kind of like, that's. Yeah, I just I saw a lot of people in my mind, but they were looking at you in a way where they like liked you. Some some like liked you. Others of you, you know, admire you. Community, how are you going to receive help or a leg up coming up here, a leg up, and a new life? Hmm, come to the edge. Some of you, if you've been thinking about moving to a new community, making some sort of change, you might really like it there. Could be a new community, also of friends or co-workers or something as well. Oh. All right, I'm getting the name, like an F name, Frank or Fred or something. All right, what is going on for Leo? Seven of Swords, that's exactly what I'm kind of getting. People glancing back at you, maybe dropping something so they would have to pause and pick it up. Uh, I see people like just smiling at you, the Three of Cups. Knight of Wands. Somebody may go or work at a bar. Ten of Wands and then the Strength card. Okay. A lot of your energy coming through here. Somebody could be missing you a lot right now. I'm feeling really weighed down because they could be missing um, you. Like you're not showing up or you guys aren't talking right now. So they may want to manifest. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I should have shut my door. Choosing something new. Choosing a new way. Manifesting something to work on. Also, one thing I'm getting here is that if you're working on something and it's not, you know, you just, you're not happy, it's not working out, what, no matter what it is, a person that you're dating, a job, a friendship, I see you moving and changing. I'm sorry, when I say moving, I don't mean like you have to move your whole place. I'm saying like you're moving on, you're making a change. Something doesn't please you or make you happy anymore. Something's too much work. And again, not necessarily a job. What is this eight of coins working on it? Somebody may work on homes or houses. Someone could be working on a relationship and maybe you're feeling like it's not worth it. You're choosing a new direction. There's something here that you could be letting go of or giving up on and choosing something new because there's something new coming in. So maybe you could be dealing with a fire sign like you, but then maybe you're going to meet an earth sign coming up here. There is a new offer. So it's almost like, you know, I kind of get to like someone trying out something new. Like you decide to take a pickleball or something. And you're like, you know, I don't like this. I don't really want to continue this. I'm not good at it, or I just don't enjoy it. I'm gonna go do something else. There is something else. I mean, this could probably be, I mean, this could be career, but this could also be, you know, love if you're dating. But Seven of Swords Magician. Yeah, some of you are getting out of something and maybe you're not telling people. You're making changes that I'm getting and you're not necessarily telling people what you're doing. Also, I guess some of you have a glow up or you're, you know, Something like that going on for you, too. What is this Eight of Coins, Ten of Cups? First thing I thought of is somebody working on houses in some way. I'm um, working on homes. It could be a business, but it could be a relationship. Work, or this calls me working from home. No, but this is probably love. The Ten of Cups, the Ace of Cups is a new relationship. Maybe some of you have been waiting for someone. Or, you know, you decided, you know, that's not going to work anymore. You don't want to do that. So I do see things getting easier. Don't get stuck. Yeah, know your worth. You don't see it. A lot of times the Eight of Swords is when you don't see people around you. Like you're so busy, you know, focused on uh, what you're doing at the moment that um, you don't see people are admiring you, Leo. You got, you got people looking at you, sneaking glances, watching you. So yeah, people want to talk to you. It could even be people from the past. Could be somebody who wants to do something nice for you. What is this leg up? 
of the wheel. And there's a arguing or fighting or arm in the past. A new way of doing something. Someone's, someone could be coming back from the past. There's competition with the Five of Wands. There's also sports or activities like that with the Five of Wands arguing. It could be like, yeah, a new way of doing something or advice. An attraction here. Some of you have a, a fire sign that's very much attracted to you. Can you show me anything about the community card? Some of you may be going to a community college. Uh, for coins, holding on to something, a hollow victory possibly. Two of Cups, community. Wanting what you want, or someone else may want what they want. Justice. Some of you are fighting for something that you really want, and you are going to get it if you keep going. I'm sorry, I think I'm my cat meowing. <laughs> i got to go get her out of the bedroom. So you have to hang in there. You know, kind of getting also, you've been on a waiting list. Somebody, you've been waiting, waiting list. Holding on, wanting something, you will get that. It could be in luck, because you got the two of cups here, you guys. So, being chosen, a partnership, a community. Something right here is like working out for you. Somebody's coming in to tell you something. Somebody that you know, the six of cups. It could be love, it could be a Libra, it could be a water sign. But... Page of Cups and offer. People may be fighting over you. People may be talking about you, but in a good way. This is not the gossip card. This is Leo. What have you done? You've got like several people kind of like just wanting to be with you, being in your presence, being in your energy, happy to see you. So if you do like show up somewhere, um, got a King of Cups under the deck. So it, they are happy when they see you walk through that door. I just kind of see a lot of like looking at the past and thinking this doesn't really work for me anymore. I'm going to move on. I'm going to start something new. And in doing so, I see you with somebody or something new here. Taurus, Capricorn, another Leo. Are there Leos out there dating Leos? Pisces energy is here. All right. Let me see what spirit wants to give you. What message? Moving out of stagnation. No wonder. That's, that's interesting. Dust devil number 15. Because under the deck, it was like deep quiet. Meditation and stillness, you're moving forward. Things are changing for you. It's going to be like chaos, but in a good way. Changes in a good way. Yeah, I see you happy. I see you a lot happier. So I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a great weekend.